Warzone has always had issues with cheaters. Any free-to-play game will have that. With no barrier of entry to minimize repeat offenders after accounts get banned, it's always an issue you'll encounter with these types of games. But Warzone may have mitigated it a bit over the last few years in spurts, but the problem has come back up again and in a very apparent way recently. And what's worse, it seems like Ricochet, the proprietary anti-cheat by the Call of Duty franchise, might not even be active at the moment. That's not exaggerating. Today we're running down this influx of cheating and talk about what you should know and what needs to be done. So as we go along, drop your thoughts. How have your games been recently? You run into any of these things here we'll talk about, whatever the case, let me know. But if you enjoy the video, do me a favor and drop a like. Consider subscribing to stay up to date with all things Modern Warfare 3, Warzone, X Defiant, and other FPS content. And check out my friends over at G Fuel for up to 30% off your entire order, but more on that a little later. For now, let's talk about the cheating issues at hand within Warzone. So on screen, you'll be seeing a compilation of clips sourced from around the community, some from other streamers, some from Reddit posts, and a few things in between. It's not any 10 minute video compilation of clips or anything insane like that to be like, yo, this is like actually unbelievable, but I think it's enough to get the point across that this isn't any sort of isolated incident at the moment. But Warzone is at this moment overrun with cheaters. To date, there's been a handful of types that I've seen either clips of, reported on, or in-game against me and my squad. There's speed hackers, rockets and explosive hackers, and even people flying around the maps at super speed, which just reminds me of that iconic flying car clip on Rebirth Island back in the day. If you know, you know. But this is on top of things already like aimbot, wall hacks, and things, so cheap providers seem to be getting a bit more creative with everything. But right now, it's just abundant. The most common of the clips that I've seen here that seem to be reported the most are these speed hacks, which seem to be utilizing the power-ups from the boys' events and the LTMs, which are still left over in the game assets. And actually, come to think of it, I've seen some clips utilizing other things like the super strength and that added armor benefit, and also seen clips of the laser vision power-up outside of that boys' LTM as well. Which, if I can be candid, I didn't like that we had that boys' LTM come back in the first place. We saw people got their hands on the ray gun ahead of the Vortex event and LTM in Season 1, and how problematic that was for the standard multiplayer experience. But not only was I just not a fan of the LTM this time around to begin with, but I just I knew this would be happening again. But I did not expect it to be coming in such a large quantity. But anyways, if the name or the clips wasn't a dead giveaway already, this cheat in particular makes you insanely fast. Something that, with zero skin in the game, because I just don't care, aim assist can still keep up with, which is kind of funny if you cheese it right. But it makes for a massively unfair advantage in getting around the map, getting in or out of gunfights, you name it. Next, the explosive hacks. This one, I've seen full auto RPG clips. I've seen infinite bouncing Betty clips. There's a few here that I've seen, and this one, I couldn't tell you the root cause of it. I don't know if there's anything underlying, like, again, those boys' ass and perks that you'd end up getting within the game modes and LTMs there. All I know is that if this would happen to me, I'd probably lose my mind because I just, I get insanely annoyed by explosive damage to begin with, but then being spammed with that, yeah, that, that would put me over the edge probably. The flying around hack, I mean, I don't really know how super practical this one is, but yeah, weird for sure to see somebody in a swimming animation flying around the map, but those again are all running rampant right now within Warzone. And what's crazy is that it seems like Ricochet is not only just not picking up on these, but Ricochet as a whole may have been and still might be down for a little while. According to data miners and those more familiar, it appears that Ricochet, the anti-cheat here for Warzone and Modern Warfare 3 and all COD 2.0, is just completely off line at the moment, meaning that even if there were the same amount of cheaters out there as when it was turned on, none of them would have any action taken. So there's just nothing happening to mitigate this. In the past, it's been a situation of like the anti-cheat sometimes needs some time to learn the cheats and adapt and recognize them, then ban. But for this, it just appears to be turned off entirely. And that kind of makes sense because with these clips, other than that, how would, in theory, because I know it does happen, how would a cheater get into the top 250 of ranked? How does one, again, in theory, because it happens, how does one evade reports that much and go that long? Because the top 250 and to stay there beyond getting in is just a massive grind and time commitment of itself. So like, how does one do that to get there and all along that time frame? not have any reports that either puts them into a shadow ban or just actually removes them from the game entirely. So what's next, I guess? Because if Ricochet's not there, how do we get around this? And I know it kind of sounds probably silly to be like, why bring this up if you don't have any solutions? But honestly, I don't. 
it is silly in that same mention, but I also recognize that I'm not nearly qualified enough to give genuine answers. I'm sure that there are those that are qualified that are aware of this and that are already working on what's happening, or at least I'd hope is working on getting things up and running again, but I guess I bring this up in hopes of two things. Number one, to let you know that if you've seen an uptick in cheating, you're not crazy. A lot of the times, it's often a knee-jerk reaction be like, that guy's definitely cheating. Or if you only watch a kill cam, it could be something that makes it look a little fishy or sus. Kill cams have all always been and will always be terrible to gauge gameplay. They oftentimes lag like crazy and try to compensate catching up to give the player the look of that kill and that allotted a couple seconds time frame. And because of that, they'll often like lag, speed back up and then snap to perfect aim. They sometimes bug out where there's not enough information loaded in like a UAV up or if a player was pinged and so on. So I mean, I'm guilty of this a ton where after a kill can, I'm like, that looked, that looked weird. But in all actuality, like I'll go and watch the guy and they just, they're awful. I actually just got caught with my pants that or something like that. But right now, especially there is an uptick in genuine cheats. So that's number one, but also number two, to let you know what I'm doing and kind of recommending the same, which is not playing. Thankfully, I grinded out enough of this season that if I really wanted to, I could probably take until the next update in about two weeks time here in that season two reloaded. I could take time off that I wouldn't really have to play. I don't cover Warzone exclusively like I have in the past. Warzone 2 kind of burned my interest in the mode and as such lost a lot of the audience here on the channel that really care about Warzone. I'm sure that's kind of just a meta commentary on the video here even, but I can take that time off with ease because it's not something that I really talk about a whole ton and I probably won't need to play as much and get footage and I'm okay with that. I mentioned it a few times already recently that I'm just honestly playing in moderation anymore. I'm not grinding Warzone, not grinding Modern Warfare 3 as much as I have in the past. I'll probably jump on and play MP and get some footage if I do want to play some COD here or zombies. Probably grab some like ground war or war footage that I can use for videos upcoming. I mentioned it yesterday in our extended review of Modern Warfare 3. Those are the two modes that I feel like have the least amount of air quote skill based matchmaking. I can often just kind of cool it and chill and snipe or get quick B roll footage of a streak jumping in in my first game and not having to sweat for like a half hour to an hour at a time to get like one VTOL streak to feature in a video. But most of the time it's way more chill because there's just so much other localized combat you can usually have a good time in those modes, but I'll probably be playing MP if at anything else, because probably you're not going to see as many cheaters there with a $70 purchase sort of price point barrier if your account gets banned. But what I can recommend, if my recommendation means anything, if it's worthwhile at all, is to do the same. I'm not personally suggesting, hey, let's start a boycott because that's never been effective. But the bigger thing, it just I don't care if you're like me and you don't care to miss out on not playing Warzone for a couple of days. It's definitely going to be worth your time to not play instead of having to deal with the abundance of these cheaters. Kind of feel like that's my mantra lately. If I'm not having a good time, I'm just I don't don't care. I'm just going to move on and play something else. Dips in numbers will always prompt a reaction. Has before, will do it again. So if you're like me and you don't want to play, you absolutely could be a part of that fix here if a number drops. If they want to ignore the issue at hand and shoot themselves in the foot, there's other games to play. Good for them then. I've got Hell Divers, some single player games I'm finishing up and more. So why not? Why put myself through that annoyance, you know? But anyways, that's where we're at here at this. There's a cheating problem right now within Warzone, more so than there has been in recent months to years. But anyways, be on the lookout. Do with that what you will. But for now, that's what we're going to call it. So let me know your thoughts down below. What do you guys think of this? But before we wrap everything up, make sure to check out my friends over at G Fuel, where Code Espresso can get up to 30% off your entire order. To me, G Fuel is my cup of coffee in the morning, gets my day and my productivity going. And I'm sure there's a flavor out there for you that if you want to try some, there's something you'll like. I'd personally recommend Pog Juice, Starfruit, Strawberry Banana, the Morbius Nectarine flavor, and a few others. But whether you guys want to try out for the very first time where you can get a starter kit, a couple of sample packs, and a shaker cup, or you want to grab a restock of a tub, maybe a few tubs, Code Espresso can get a nice little discount upwards of 30% off. So link down there in the description below if you're interested, but for now, that's what we're going to call it. So again, drop your thoughts down below, hit that like button if you guys enjoyed the video, you found it at all insightful, and do me a favor and hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with all things Modern Warfare 3, Warzone, X Defiant, other FPS content, we got you covered here on the channel. But for now, thanks so much for watching, my name is Espresso, I'll see you later, take care, and peace.